The incredible thing about Superdry is just the potential that we've got going forward. We've stayed so true to our values and never ever slapped a logo on a product we would never wear or use ourselves. It's given us such a strong foundation with such integrity and the brand that is so universal that we can apply it to literally any product category as long as it is the best in class. For me, I think this is the most exciting period we've ever been in. We've gone through leaps in the past, but I think the progress that we've made from James's team in the last 12 months sets us on a world stage. And I think that the future now is so exciting because we are truly category killing. And we're just going to keep driving and driving and driving and just offer the best product on the planet without a doubt. Superdry began when James and I were working together um, on a coffee project. Um, we ran a chain of coffee shops together and I was retailing under the, the banner of Cult, which was a, a sort of multi-brand um, store group. And um, we realized there was, a, there was a gap in the market and um, things were happening uh, in the clothing industry that weren't being reflected on bra in brands that, that were widely available at the time. Bit, I persuaded him into, uh, into joining me and forming a partnership um, to create a brand. Um, we both equally saw the vision of what that brand should be and it's been a very exciting journey from that very first t-shirt to, to where we are today. And I don't think the vision has ever changed. I think uh, the, initial, the initial thoughts about where we should go and how we should, um, it's probably got bigger than we, than we thought we would get to, but of course that goes on and on. Julian and I had um, previous history. I used to do a clothing label called Bench, and Julian was running Cult Clothing. So we've known each other for 20 years, to 20 years, nearly 20 years now. And so uh, Bench was very successful for the cult stores. Uh, I did that for around 10 years. Got, and then we did a joint coffee venture together. And um, as Julian says, we saw a gap in the market for the, the menswear side of things. Um, and we, we both have a shared love of British tailoring. Julian had brought to the blend a love of American cottons and Americana and I had a uh, real passion for Japanese graphics. So we blended them all together and created a, um, a recipe, as you will, that had never been done before. Yeah, so basically we had this shared love of all these different elements that had never been combined before in the fashion industry. So we jumped on a plane to Tokyo, which was for me was a bit of a mecca for graphics. Uh, we actually went out there to see if we could get any, any inspiration for clothing and we came back with bags and bags full of packaging and books and comics and all these things. And from that, we um, spawned this whole new graphic language, um, started off with a collection of five T-shirts um, that David Beckham wore in his calendar, and that really kind of put us on the map. And from that, we drifted into men's polo shirts. And uh, from there, it's just been nonstop. And that's what James captured. Um, he captured the, the, the graphic language that that was patently out there and it was exciting and, and he brought it back and, and w created Superdry. That is the essence of Superdry. Now, this is actually a graphic that we created years and years and years ago um, and has just been tweaked and updated uh, for this season. And the second it comes into the stores, it absolutely flies up because they know it but it's new at the same time. So there's a continuity, but there's progress. So um, iconic classic that just goes on and on and on in its incarnations, in the same way that the windsheeter has progressed itself. One of the most iconic products that we've ever made, or I have to say James has ever created, uh, is the windsheeter. 
Okay. I think this is absolutely representative of where Superdry is. So we've delivered what must be the best quality product for the price point in the market, bar none. So if you come in across the high street, you will not find for the price range that the jacket is in, which is 65 to 75 pounds retail, anything of this integrity and this quality. And that is why we sell so many, and that is why Superdry is so strong. I think Jules and I are so close as friends as well as business partners, and that really threads through into the people throughout the business. I think the people have seen how we work together, how passionate we are, um, and how we are, we're always punching the clock and we're always leading from the, the front, and that threads through to all the people um, who work with us. And the beauty of it is it's a global story now as well, isn't it? Across the globe, you're making a family. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you're creating this world where you all have a link, you all have a, you all have a reason to be together. Yeah. And, and, and that's a fantastic um, way of, of creating relationships and friendships and loyalty and trust, which vital to yeah. survival in, this, in a business world and a work world. You have, to, you have to kind of love each other and you have to kind of respect each other mm. uh, and be loyal. I mean, that's, that's key to, to everybody within the group. I mean, our work and personal lives are so intertwined. It's all the same thing and we all want the same thing. And, uh, you know, we, we, we learn so much from all the people who've joined us over the years and it's such a mutual respect and we've all got exactly the same goal. And from that, you just become genuine friends. I think work ethic is, is <laughs> key to this, yeah. this business. We, we all work harder than, yeah. than anybody else and, and that's why the product's so brilliant, that's why the business is so brilliant. There is, we do put in that 110% and that's, that's key. This is why we've grown so quickly. Incredible people, you know, who share the same work ethic, total belief in the brand, but a genuine belief in the brand. There's nothing, you know, we are a big machine and we're a big corporate machine but we still retain our entrepreneurial base well retail salespeople make up the vast majority of of our workforce and our and our and our family if you like um they represent the brand to the consumer so it's the most important role we are we are absolutely a consumer brand so as they represent us that, that is how the word of Superdry and the love of Superdry proliferates. And, and the amount of feedback I get from, from customers saying how wonderful our staff are, how engaged they are, um, and how they feel part of our, of our family, and that, that absolutely comes across in the customer experience. So for every one tiny negative comment I get, I get a thousand positive comments. And it takes something special. It's very easy to write about a negative thing, but for people to take the time and effort to actually write something positive about our staff is really quite exceptional. Uh, from, from my point of view, my favorite thing about Supertry um, is A, the progress, the, 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 the journey that we're on, um, that you can see just things getting better all the time, things improving um, in, in, in every capacity. So as a, as, a, as a business, but then what really, really excites me within that improvement process is the product. Nothing excites me more than, than the actual product and thinking, you know, this is the best in class product. I mean, our, our product is some of the best in the world. Um, the fit is amazing. The passion for, for what James has achieved in terms of the branding, the, the experience. I love wearing Superdry because it's simply better than anybody else. Oh,